Yes, I know you don't believe it, and you probably said it's not real, but I'm here to tell you today. This is Wednesday, and I am actually live. Yes, I'm sitting up strong, and I'm telling you now, it's not a memorist. This is the real deal. You're looking at a supernatural blessing today. You know, and this supernatural blessing, I had to get up and tell this story, this testimony, this day, this moment. See, when you get a second chance, there's everything happened for a reason. See, sometimes we get going in life, we don't know what to do. We can't even slow down ourselves. We're so busy trying to do everything. But God had to step in. And he had to lay you down. He had to lay you down to the point where he had to do some operation. Then he had to do some operation to purify some things to let you realize just a flash of a night that you have to be thankful. You have to be thankful for the breath of air. You have to be thankful for the many blessings. And I'm telling you right now, I know you don't believe it. You probably think, oh, this is a video he made prior to last Thursday. But today is Wednesday, 2 o'clock p.m. I'm here to tell this testimony. First of all, I want to say to every family member, and every friend, and everybody who stood in the gap with them powerful prayers. See, the only way something can happen like this, it had to start with powerful prayers. And I had powerful prayers going up for me for the last week. And with the powerful prayers, it had reached the heavenly places. And the powerful prayers had reached the heavenly places, and now you're looking at a, a powerful blessing. This testimony of my resurrection. So, I just want to let you know, today I'm thankful. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Because when you went and did the things that's most important and critical, when you're in times of critical situations, nothing could make this happen but the prayers of individual. And last at least, if you don't have no powerful friends, they got the anointing flowing, or know how to get to the anointing, or know how to plug into the anointing, or know about the anointing, or who actually is the anointing. You better get them in your life. Because they ought to have new life, new people like that, interceding, interceding at your behalf. Today I'm so thankful, because I had so many prayers going up for me for the last week. And I had so many dollars saying, you'll never make it. But in Jesus' name, this second life is going to be an opportunity to tell this testimony. We get so busy in life, try to worry about building a union, working, how you can brand yourself. None of that matters if you don't have life. So I'm so thankful to all my friends today. And as I give glory to all my friends, most of all, I'm so thankful to all them powerful prayers. Can't say enough about family. Cannot say enough. My family, Connect with my friends is the reason I'm able to stand. Now, I just want to say something special to the family. For all you that's concerned, and all you who've been worried, and all you who've been encouraging, this video is for you. Look what God can do. That's why I want to make this video, because this is especially for my friends and my family and them soldiers that they had praying for me. Take a good look. Yes, today is Wednesday. It's like at 2.30 p.m. But this is what God does. And I gotta be so excited about giving him the glory. Family, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for um, being strong about prayer, 
and get me through this journey. I want to thank you for all the phone calls. I want to thank you for all that you've done. And I'm so thankful for just life today. That's the most important thing I have ever said out my mouth this evening. And I'm so thankful for just life today. Now, Lord, I'm asking you to go with one of my friends, uh, Miss Dorford. Very dear close friend of mine. Passed away in the midst of my tragedy and my sickness. And I tell you, you better make sure that you're treating people right. And make sure you're on the right side of the aisle. Because it ain't about me. Obviously, I was on that right side of the aisle. Since the winning election, we've been winning building after building after building. But it took a toll on me. Because the more buildings we had, the more problems was in the buildings. And I was fighting a good fight. But God had to lay me down to rest to be group. So I'm regrouping. But I'm also excited and thankful. Be with the Dorford family. She was a very close co-worker of mine. Had an accident at work and passed. Her viewing is discharged. Give her family strength. And Lord, she is so heavy on my heart. And I, get, I ask that you would give her family everything that she needs or everything that they need on her behalf. Help them through, Lord, these trying times by this Saturday. I love you all. I'm going to jump off this social media and know this all the work I'm going to do. I ain't doing no more videos. I ain't trying to look at no emails. I ain't trying to worry about no bills. I ain't trying to worry about nothing. I'm going to turn off this computer and I'm going to go back to that safe place. Kick these feet up and say thank you. And that's all I'm going to do the rest of this day. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because you truly brought me through. Through many prayers. I love you, family. And I love you, friends.